Just a short time ago, Governor Whitmer providing the state's update to the COVID crisis in Michigan. The governor today using the moment to urge voters to get informed on how to vote during this pandemic and to act now while pressing the legislature to pass laws, easing the anticipated unprecedented turnout. 7 Action News reporter Brian Abel live now with the new signal from the governor on an absentee ballot bill. Brian. Alan Glenda, the governor urging the House to pass Senate Bill 757, a pretty good sign that she would sign that bill. That bill gives clerks the ability to pre-process the anticipated 3 million plus absentee ballots expected before Election Day. And she also is talking about outbreaks throughout the state. Michiganders should start taking action now. Today is the day to have a plan for voting. With just 48 days till November 3rd's election, Michigan voting Governor absentee. Gretchen Whitmer urging those voting absentee to do so quickly after the September 24th mail-out date and asking the state house to send to her a bill allowing clerks to pre-process absentee ballots. This is a step in the right direction and it will help ensure an efficient election. The governor asked if a state policy change could happen following recent outbreaks at universities across Michigan. There's not a one size fits all solution and these are really need to be decisions at the local level that we are supporting, that we are helping to inform. Whitmer also providing her take on recent political rallies where social distancing and mask wearing were scant, asking future attendees to mask up. Every candidate should follow the Michigan guidelines and the federal guidelines. That being said, we know that there are First Amendment rights here that are um, at, at issue. We also know that the practicalities of going in and enforcing this on, on candidates uh, probably um, doesn't make a lot of sense. And I, you know, so that's a concern. Now the state has 57 cases per million of the coronavirus with a 3.7% test positivity rate. And Secretary of State Jocelyn Benson also at the briefing. More on what she said about election security. That's coming up tonight at 6. For now, Brian Abel, 7 Action News. All right, we'll look forward to that, Brian. Thank you.